Hello, I am Dr. Mohamed Atalla, the Executive Director with Facilities and Service at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. We are excited to get this winning streak award for the 2020 International Freezer Challenge. Thank you so much for recognizing the University of Illinois for a third straight year. We are honored to win this award among such an outstanding group of peer institutions. Research is at the core of the university's mission to enhance the lives of the people of Illinois and around the world. And we are fortunate that the university also exhibits tremendous leadership through many energy conservation efforts that are moving us closer to achieving our climate leadership commitment. I am very glad to see so many of our esteemed faculty and researchers participating in this important movement. I would like to also take the opportunity to thank Paul Foote and Madeline Barron for their coordination of this effort, even in the midst of the pandemic. Thank you again for such a tremendous honor, and we look forward to seeing all of you next year. I'm Dr. Pace Fredericks, and I work for Brian Allen in entomology department. We are a vector biology, um, landscape ecology lab. It's a much smaller lab. We only have a few freezers and, and refrigerators and such, but this joining this freezer challenge the last few years has really enabled us to um, organize the freezers so we can find things in there and keep getting rid of stuff we don't need. We're always gathering more ticks and more DNA samples and all, and just, you know, we don't need them all, so we've gotten rid of them. And um, just thinking about not opening the freezer and just saving energy and saving the environment has really been a good thing. Hi, my name is Deborah Katz Downey, and I work with Stephen Downey in the Department of Plant Biology in the School of Integrative Biology at the University of Illinois. And we are plant systematists. So we work on ordering the natural world. And the Freezer Challenge has presented us an opportunity to have order in our refrigerators and freezers, not only in our research labs, but our course labs as well. My name is Dr. Julie Wynn, and um, for the past two freezer challenges, I was managing uh, Ray Ming's lab, and then um, from that experience, I learned how to efficiently defrost freezers and basically do a lot of sample lab management. I love the freezer challenge because every year it's a, kind of like a light bulb. It's like, oh, it's time to clean out your freezers, you know? So it's like you have to end up like doing your sample um, inventory and cleaning out your freezers, defrosting it, um, cleaning out the coils and kind of vacuuming all the filters and stuff. And I think um, overall, I think Vet Med and the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign tries to be as energy efficient and try to conserve as much energy as possible. So we try to, you know, turn off the light switches when we're not in use. And freezers are probably the biggest um, energy horses or they take as much energy um, than other systems. And just something as simple as just defrosting a fridge um, can extend the lifespan of your fridge and then as well as help you um, uh, remove samples. So it's kind of like a win-win situation because you get to save the environment and you also get to save all your precious samples. Um, so why wouldn't you want to do this? I'm Susan Martinez. I'm the Vice Chancellor for Research and Innovation at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. And I had the distinct honor here to recognize some of our top scoring labs. At number one, we have the Downey Lab, led by Dr. Deborah Katz Downey from Plant Biology in the School of Integrative Biology. And at number two, we have the Denmark Lab, led by Nicholas Reinhardt in the Department of Chemistry at the School of Chemical Sciences. And number three, the Department of Energy-sponsored CABI Lab, with the effort led by Lucianne Burris, the CABI lab is located in the Institute of Genomic Biology and is co-sponsored by the Institute for Sustainability, Energy, and the Environment. Honorable mention goes to the Bellow Lab in Crop Sciences, and that was led by Julianne Seabauer. 
And on our campus, the highest energy savings goes to Martin Grubala's lab from chemistry led by the PI, Martin Grubala, and also the Helferich lab from nutritional sciences that was led by Molly Black within the College of ACES. Overall, all of the participants in the 2020 International Laboratory Freezer Challenge worldwide contributed to a combined savings of 3.2 million, 3.2 million to emphasize that kilowatt hours per year uh, worldwide. This is a truly amazing feat. And I'm so very proud of our amazing community of university researchers. Congratulations to all of the winners and thank you again for your efforts.